Welcome back to my channel, everybody. My name is Leslie and I am with Black Dog Vintage and I am super excited that you're here. I am going to be doing a haul of the week. Um, a lot of this or most of this will be in my Vintage Live coming up and uh, also available for pre-sale. So if you are interested in any of these pieces, please give me a shout. I am not going to be doing prices in this video because um, like I said, this will be available for pre-sale. Most of this will be in my live. Um, but if you're interested, just let me know because I can give you prices. Um, things in the live might be, um, when I do them in the live, they might start at a different price, but if you want to secure uh, a piece, then always give me, um, you know, an email or a text message and we can discuss that. Uh, but um, all of these pieces I got over this last week and um, they are pretty amazing. Um, several of the pieces I got from the flea market, from my guy that I purchased from, um, where I got the last, you know, from the last video, he, he gave me all those pieces that he was going to throw away. Um, but I did get several amazing pieces, um, from him as well that I did purchase, you know, individually. Uh, but I also scored some pieces, um, from other sales and also, I had an amazing phone call from an, a neighbor. I used to live in Traverse City, Michigan, and I had a neighbor and that was amazing. He and I were very close. I lived next door to him, or not, well, just down the street from him for about 15 years or so. And um, we were close and he called me out of the blue. I hadn't talked to him in a few years and he called me and said, hey, I have a bunch of costume jewelry that I am clearing out. He had inherited a bunch of things from his mom. And uh, he says, I got a bunch of costume jewelry that I'm clearing out. I'd rather not give it to Goodwill. I'd rather give it to somebody that might, um, you know, benefit from it, um, you know, and I don't know what's good or what's not good. So, you know, are you interested in it and going through it and all of that? And I said, absolutely. So I have some pieces uh, in here that are from him and uh, that will be going in the live as well. And I'll let you know what those pieces are as well. So this is going to be a fun little haul. I hope you guys will enjoy it. And I'll let you know where I got um, the pieces from as I go through them. Uh, so I've got earrings, I've got brooches, I've got necklaces, I've got lots of fun stuff here today. So I hope you enjoy it as we go through. Uh, so let's go through as we speak. So um, I'll do a few pairs of earrings first. Um, these are from my friend Scott. These are the ones that um, are from his mom's uh, jewelry box. And um, let's, oh, let's get this. Okay, there we go. So these are really pretty. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my allergies are just killing me today. Um, these are pretty little enamel and rhinestone earrings. These are pierced, they're unmarked, but they are absolutely gorgeous. Kind of gives like an 80s vibe, really nice and blingy, kind of reminds me of like a Swarovski or something along those lines. Super pretty earrings. Um, and then another pair of earrings um, from there as well are these. I love these as well. These are also pierced earrings and just gorgeous absolutely gorgeous i love those um here is another um pair of earrings if i can find the other one in my little pile here i just kind of brought them over uh, maybe we'll come back to it later um oh this is from the flea market this is just a really simple gold flower with a little blue rhinestone in the center. That is the back of it. This is unsigned, but I really loved the simplicity of this piece. Um, it is just really, really pretty. Um, I just like that one. Really like that. It's got double leaves or, or double petals as well. Just really pretty. Very, very pretty flower. Um, this is another fun one from the flea market. Um, I, I, 
I am holding most of the Christmas pieces back um, to save for closer to the holiday, but this one is more of a Christmas piece. But I just thought it was fun. It's a guy snowboarding on a candy cane. And uh, honestly, I, or I didn't think snowboarding was around back then, but it's just so fun and so cute that I really wanted to show it to everybody. So I figured I would show it to you all. I Isn't that just fun? Let me know if anybody's seen anything like this before or when did snowboarding start? I guess, I don't know. Um, this one here, let me get it off the little card. This also came from the flea market. Um, this is a really pretty shooting star in pot metal. Um, all of the, the stones are present and accounted for, but I just love the whole shooting star concept. It's in pot metal. Really, really, really pretty piece. I just thought this was gorgeous. Isn't that nice? I just like that one. Um, this is another enamel flower piece. This is really heavy. Um, all the stones are in there as well. Um, that is the back of it, and it is marked, um, if I can get it, and I haven't heard of this one. It's O-Y-S-Y. I haven't done any research on it yet either, but um, it's really pretty and very heavy. I just thought that was really gorgeous. And here is a really pretty little bow brooch with some pearls and rhinestones. That is really gorgeous. That's the back of it. Definitely 80s there, maybe even 90s. But it's just really, I just thought it was really pretty. Um, and then I have over on this side, here we go. Here is, and I loved finding this, here is a bezel set Swarovski crystal necklace. And this one is nice and long. And it is clear crystals. And really gorgeous. All set in silver. Oh, got a little hair in there. But all set in silver. And or silver tone, I should say. And it is marked. You know, a lot of these are not marked, or the hang tag has come off. Um, but this one is still on there and it does have the Swarovski swan. So this one is really nice to have. Absolutely gorgeous with the clear crystals. Super amazing. I love finding that one. And here is, look at that bling. Look at that one. I was just stunned. And honestly, so I won a, a lot of brooches and uh, I was really excited to have this one in there. This one is, is pretty old. Look at how that pin extends past the brooch. That was pretty exciting to find. And that one is absolutely stunning. Very, very gorgeous. Lots of AB in there, some amethyst stones, just really different. And then it's got this kind of, um, the lines of the smaller stones in there. Do you believe this is Austrian? Um, it is beautiful, just absolutely gorgeous. Then I have, come back around, bring some more pieces a little bit more forward from my tray here. Um, so I have this little glass cameo here, intaglio cameo, super pretty, just, oh, nope, this one is a, here we go, this one is, these are earrings, I forgot, these are earrings, and these are Whiting and Davis earrings, sorry, my bad, I forgot, I was thinking, I had more cameos today, but I don't. I just have a couple. Um, Whiting and Davis cameo earrings. And those are marked. Very, very pretty. This beautiful celluloid flower. Is that a chrysanthemum, maybe? 
You guys let me know in the comments. I'm thinking it's a chrysanthemum, maybe. Something big, beautiful piece. Here is the big cameo brooch. It does have a little like enamel or paint chipping in the uh, headband of the girl. This is all glass, molded glass. That is the back of it. It is unmarked, can also be a pendant. Absolutely gorgeous. This came in a brooch lot. Oh, the these and the um, Waiting and Davis all came from the flea market. This came from the brooch lot. Absolutely gorgeous piece. This does have a C clasp. Um, is this the original clasp on here? I'm not sure. It's silver tone and then the clasp is brass. Maybe? stones are really nice and clear. I really like this piece. I thought it was really interesting. Um, I need to do more research on it, but I mean, I definitely would love to know in the comments what you think. It's a C clasp. It's riveted on. I mean, I'd like to think that this is the original clasp, but I just, I, I, I don't know. I really like that one though. I think it's really unique. This is fun. This is in the brooch lot as well. I love this little kitty cat. It's the back of it. Really pretty, all prong set. It's just kind of a fun piece. I just love that one. Um, got a couple of fun necklaces too. Um, earring hung up on this. So this one I thought was fun. Now these are plastic beads. It's a multi-strand, but look how fun that um, clasp is. And these are graduated beads. Beautiful color. Absolutely gorgeous color. We've got one, two, three, four, five strands. And this came from my friend, and this is, um, about 18 inches to the shortest length. So I just love that. I think the color is just gorgeous. It has some clear spacer beads in there. It's beautiful, beautiful piece. And then this one is another one that I thought was really interesting. So these are all glass. These are glass pearls. And then it goes to a multi-strand necklace with two strands of glass pearls and then these seed beads, which I felt was really interesting. There's no extender or anything. Um, the length on this is 26 inches. Um, the, this is a Duplace piece. It's got the patent number. It's got one of those really odd ball clasps. This is a really pretty piece. Very unique, very different. I like that one. <clears throat> And then we also have another really pretty glass pearl necklace. This does have one of these oh, style clasps, which I'm not, personally, I'm not a huge fan of these, but they are an older style clasp. Why am I not a huge fan? Because I always struggle with them. But these are nice. They're all knotted, beautiful pearls. Um, the, there's a little bit of wear on the coating of them, but it's a pretty color, nice white pearl. And you can't really tell from the distance that it's that worn, but beautiful color. Here is another beautiful brooch. This also came from the brooch lot. This is the back of it. 
unsigned, but I love like that pave type of effect in this. Absolutely gorgeous. And here is another very blingy piece. I like this one as well. <clears throat> this one reminds me of a Juliana, but it is not. It has the wrong pin back on it, but it's got the open vets. It's got the right style of um, uh, setting other than that, but these nevets are pretty dirty. But these, this is an absolutely gorgeous piece. Absolutely beautiful. I'm not sure if I can get that off. I'm gonna have to work on that. Let's see if I can get those, that little smudge off. But this is a gorgeous piece. I love the setting and I love the shape of this one. This came in the brooch lot as well. Same with this. Look at that crystal flower. I think this is Swarovski. It is not signed, but I know Swarovski did this exact flower. So I'm thinking this is Swarovski. Um, and the other ones that I saw, I don't know if they were signed either. Um, none of them said signed and the ones that I saw, I didn't see pictures of a signature on them. So I'm not positive if they were signed, but I did see the rest of these that were listed as Swarovski. But this is an absolutely beautiful, heavy leaded crystal flower brooch. Also from the brooch lot. Um, these earrings are gorgeous. These came from my friend's lot that he sent me. I believe these are sterling. Let's just test them really quick. And that looks like it's moonstone. And that's probably onyx. Let's just see if these are sterling. Um, I guess we'll rub it here. Definitely scratches like sterling. And then I'm using the 18K solution. And yep, it, it is sterling, comes up blue. So these are really, really pretty little earrings. I'm thinking that's moonstone. Those are moonstone drops. They look like moonstone to me. Um, let's see, the presidium. They go up to glass, so maybe they're glass. I'm not positive. And um, this onyx looking also goes up to glass. Maybe they're glass. I'm not positive what they should read on the Presidium. I'm never sure, but that is definitely sterling silver. And these are gorgeous earrings. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning earrings. Um, next I have another celluloid brooch. Look at this. This is definitely old. Look at the old pin back on here. Definitely a very old pin back. Um, is it marked? I don't think that's a mark. Let's just double check. I don't, I don't believe, oh, let's just see all together. No, not a mark. Um, but this is absolutely just a beautiful piece. There we go. Just a beautiful piece. That is all celluloid. And this is hollow. And just an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous piece. Very old for sure. Um, oh, here's a Christmas one I meant to set aside, but I did not. But that's a really pretty Christmas tree, unmarked. Um, maybe we'll do it, maybe we won't. If anybody's interested in it, let me know. Um, look at this damascene piece. This is heavy. This is a very heavy piece. Look, there's the back of it. I've never seen this kind of like look in the back, but extremely heavy damascene. 
gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. That was from the flea market. Both of those were from the flea market. Look at this. This is from the brooch lot. Absolutely stunning. That's the back. This is older for sure. Gorgeous piece. Look at the refraction off of those. Oh, just stare at that one all day. It does have a couple discolored stones, but we might be able to work on those. We'll see. Okay, this is from the flea market. I need help with this one. Look how gorgeous this is. But this is some kind of buckle or something. And I'm not positive what kind. I don't think this is a shoe clip. But I'm unsure. And it says... Lolf fast, lol fast, and I think it might say Stafford. Stafford, I don't, I'm not positive. So, anybody in the comments know what this is? Please let me know. I just think that's super cool, and I had to pick it up because that pave is gorgeous and it's in perfect condition. Here is another, um, another beautiful glass bead necklace. These are gorgeous faceted beads. And then look at the Labrador, Labrador height. And then that is some kind of quartz, I believe. But that is Labradorite, and I love Labradorite. But this is a gorgeous necklace, absolutely gorgeous. And this came from the flea market. And... It is all knotted in between all of the beads. It is 38 inches. And it has possibly the remnants of an original tag, but that Labradorite is gorgeous. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, here's another pair of earrings from my friend's mom's collection and I just realized that there is a missing stone so I'm gonna set those aside I thought those were fine but I'm wrong here is a brooch that came in the brooch collection at first I thought this was brand new I do need to fix this and this one is going to be I have this stone I just realized and I am going to be able to fix this one I have that exact size and this is marked and it's marked sung and I can fix this one and it is absolutely go oh there's another one shoot well hopefully I can fix both of those um but isn't that just so blingy and gorgeous so I'm gonna make sure I can fix that I'm setting those that one aside that came from I think that was in the brooch lot uh, about positive that was in the brooch lot and this one was also the brooch lot. Absolutely gorgeous. Beautiful, beautiful piece with the marcasite. And that's the back of it. And a little musical note, a little tack pin, also the brooch lot. And here I have, this is a sterling silver necklace with pendants. And this is a beautiful, look at the scene on this. It is, I believe, Cupid. Not positive, I think that's Cupid. And he has a, is that a sword? And I'm not sure what he's battling or he's riding, but isn't that pretty? And this is a sterling silver pendant and it's a Wedgwood. And that is absolutely stunning. I love this. And it's an interesting piece because the pendant goes like that. And then this is the necklace. 
and the necklace portion is um, 16 inches and then the pendant kind of drops in that little interesting way but that is a Wedgwood piece and I just thought that was so unique and interesting in my estimation um, this is another piece for my friend's um, mom's lot and that's a really cool enamel parrot with the rhinestones just thought that was super fun and then this is from the flea market absolutely gorgeous little wreath brooch with the pearls before i stab myself here here we go isn't that gorgeous so much fun And then check this piece out. I believe this is Swarovski. This is unmarked, but I do believe this is a Swarovski piece. It has the crystals. They're all open back. They're all bezel set, open back. Absolutely stunning, 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 stunning piece. It is set in gold as opposed to the silver, gold tone as opposed to silver tone absolutely gorgeous i love the little dangles at the bottom absolutely stunning here i have another pair of earrings these are gorgeous and those are pierced they do have a little jump ring on one of them and then i'm not sure if there was supposed to be something to dangle not positive but that can be removed This is a fun little clown. This is from the flea market. Fun little clown that kind of moves his legs. Unsigned, but really adorable little clown that moves his legs. This is from the brooch lot. Love the clear. So pretty. And this is, honestly, I'm not positive where this one was from. This one might have been from my friend, I think. And that is the back of it. A little bit of damage to it, but this one is pretty old. And it has all, it looks like it has all of the stones. Some of them are discolored, but... It's very old, it's really pretty. Same with this one, very old, but pretty. Brooch lot also, really gorgeous. This is from the flea market, gorgeous piece. Very unique and different. This is also from the brooch lot. Look at this. Now this is, believe it or not, this is an Avon piece, but this is Nina Ricci for Avon. And you can see this up oh, here. We go. It's upside down. Avon NR. That means uh, Nina Ricci for Avon. But look at that. That is just gorgeous. It's a beautiful starburst pin. Absolutely stunning. Look at that center stone. Gorgeous. Little bit of yellow, yellowing to it. But absolutely beautiful. I thought this was a really unique piece as well. This is from the um, flea market that Nina Ricci was from the brooch lot. But this one is from the flea market. This is absolutely gorgeous. Just really unique, gold tone, gold plated most likely with these little stones. Absolutely stunning, unsigned, but beautiful. And then I have this. Now it did come on this gold chain but it didn't quite match so i took it off it can definitely go back on it but this is another wedgwood piece it's in pink it's like a little fairy 
holding a little string of flowers. Oops. And it does say Wedgwood made in England. No date stamp on this one. But isn't that just gorgeous? And then last couple. This one here is from my friend. And it is an absolutely gorgeous micro mosaic. And this one is, oh, this one's not stamped, but isn't that just a gorgeous micro mosaic? And then we have this AB, very old AB piece, done in pot metal probably later 50s. Probably right when AB was coming out. So probably like 56, 57. And then the last piece is actually not a brooch at all. This is from the flea market. That last one was from the flea market too. But this one is from the flea market. This is just the cameo. Needs to be set in something. There is a little bit of a crack right here, or a chip, I should say. But isn't this absolutely stunning? This is all carved cameo, um, carved shell. And it is a beautiful scene, little family scene with the cottages and the little family in the front. Very, very detailed, absolutely gorgeous, all carved. That's the chip. That's the other side, very beautiful. And um, there's nice translucency in this as well when I put the it behind the light or in front of the light. Isn't that gorgeous? Just absolutely stunning. So that is everything. That's my haul of the week. Most of this will be whatever I can do will be in the live sale on Thursday. Um, let's see, today is the 24th, I believe. And um or 23rd. Today's the 23rd. So this will be on January 25th. So this is going to be for mostly the live sale on January 25th, 2024. Probably not all of it will get to, but if you're interested in any of these pieces, please reach out to me at leslie at blackdogvintage.com or you can text me. All of my information is in the description of this video. Don't hesitate to reach out and let me know if you are interested in a piece, I can go over you know, the price and all of that of what the pre-sale price would be. Um, or just come by the, the uh, sale video, the live sale video. Um, but okay, so I'm so glad that you joined me. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And don't forget, if you like my content, if you like the jewelry that I have, that I bring to you, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Your subscribes mean so much to me. Hit the bell for notifications, and then you know when I have videos that uh, come out, and you know when I go live. So thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next video. We'll see you later. Bye!